Hello, I'm David R. Lewis. Welcome to Theater of the Mind. Since both Marion and Arliss came by and talked about Rube, Marshall Homer Poteet himself decided he'd better drop by and tell you a little bit about Reuben Beeler, too. Take my advice. Listen to Homer with a grain of salt. Howdy, I'm Homer. Rube Beeler, huh? Well, I ain't got much use for him. Rube treats me terrible. Now, if you ain't figured it out by now that I'm lying to you, you ain't paying attention. Truth be told, I got a fair amount of respect for the boy. When Marion Daniels showed up over in Gasconade with him chasing that Duncan bunch, I don't know if Rube was even shaving yet. He was green as grass, and I thought Marion had lost his mind bringing an untried kid along like he done. But I'll tell you what, the boy has done what he was told, had good judgment, and when the fight was on and the bullets was flying, Rube didn't back up a step, even when his horse got shot out from under him. Got right in the middle of it and done what had to be done. Like tonight, we had them Waxler boys, Jim and Jack, in custody for killing one whore and cutting up on another one in St. Joe. They was a mess of fellers from old man Waxler's bunch of chasing us. We was on the run, and one of the horses give out. Wind broke, he was. Old Rube headed down our back trail on that little buckskin of his, tangled with five of them fellers and come back to us after stopping our pursuit. I swear to God, Rube Beeler can get as determined as Marion Daniels. Hell, he drug Pig Wiggins out of the Sweetwater Cafe that time by the kerchief on his neck and left him gasping on the boardwalk like a darn carp. And Rube weren't even 20 year old yet. Another time he put Cleveland Pettigrew on the balk and faced him plumb down, and Pettigrew was a hell of a pistolier and a shootist. There just ain't no backup in the boy. Now, I don't know exactly how old he is, but he's been on the trail as a deputy marshal with me and Marion six or seven times over the years. He's got himself a fine woman by the name of Harmony, a young son named after Arkansas Bill Cole, and Rube can't be over 24 or 25. He's come a long way. And it has been some pleasureful watching the boy kindly age into himself like he's done. He treats me awful bad, fat mouse me, picks at me and such. But to tell you the truth, I reckon I started it. Chickens come home to roost, I guess. I know this. There is two men on this old world that I would trust my life to. Marion Daniels and Reuben Beeler. And that there's God's own truth. Both ebook and the audiobook versions of the Trail series of Westerns are available on Amazon and a number of other popular sites. I'm David R. Lewis. Thanks for stopping by Theater of the Mind. By the way, as you leave the lobby, you might see a rough looking individual carrying a Sharps Buffalo gun. That's Homer. He's mostly tame.